Carlos Amato Jr. out of El Paso, Texas will be on the pole and Dustin Brown on his outside. Dustin's out of Clear Lake, Iowa. Blake Art from Brownsdale, Minnesota in the one car and Peyton Phillips from Chinook, Kansas, the 127 make up that second row. Well, kind of. Peyton Phillips and Terry Phillips, that is, on the second row. Blake Art and David Tanner will be on the third row. Blake is out of Brownsdale, Minnesota and David Tanner out of Wichita Falls, Texas. Oh, wait a minute. I got to refresh. I apologize. No oh, worry. Hey, Jake. Jake from St. Carr. We did here, show buddy. up. Cole Anderson and Randy Brown will be in row at number four. Roy Long and Nick Binninger out of Perry, Kansas, make up ninth and tenth. Houston Johnson, Tyler Worry back in row six. And it's Jason Payton, Ronnie Burkhart, Lyle Sadoff, Colton Eck, Andrew Thomas, and Brandon Conkright. Your field of 18. Set to roll off for the modifieds. All behind the Bill Robert Chevrolet pace truck. Lights are already out. The truck is up on the berm over in turns one and two. He will make the hard right-hand turn. And Carlos Amada Jr. out of El Paso, Texas, will set the tempo down the back stretch. He's got Dustin Brown on his outside. Peyton Phillips and Terry Phillips back behind him in row number two through three and four. Carlos Amada Jr. slowly down on the loud pedal. We're underway, and we're joined by Jake Tim. He had the opportunity to run over in the go-kart track because he was so fast on night number, let's see, it would have been two. He finished second in his A main. Congratulations on that. You're locked in, my man. Good job. Thank you, sir. I got roped into announcing the night, I guess. <laughs> got roped into it. That's all right. I know that they are trying to bring in the best celebrities there are that have made their way into Lucas Oil Speedway, and I guess you qualified or somebody else just couldn't show up. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. I'm far from a celebrity, so probably just qualified. <laughs> Carlos Amata Jr. out four car lengths, now five ahead of Dustin Brown. That equates into nearly a full second advantage. Tell me about your run yesterday. I know you were not here on the opening night on Wednesday. You came in on Thursday. Um, but everything seemed to be dialed in, and you were able to claim a locked-in spot for the Saturday feature. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, starting 20th, I really wasn't sure what to expect. You know, obviously, when you start that, that deep in the field, you need a good racetrack and, and a good race car, and uh, things have to go your way. And fortunately, they did. Uh, we, you know, we were able to get the second, obviously. And, uh, I mean, I honestly, going out there, I didn't expect to, to get in a transfer spot. I thought I'd be racing tonight, so... Um, luckily, I'm up here announcing instead of racing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say luckily. I, de I didn't. I definitely didn't expect to be up here announcing. I can tell you that. But uh, at, at least I'm not racing. We're sitting here locked in, and, and the car's ready to go for tomorrow. So <laughs> that's a plus. Carlos Amata Jr. still leading. Dustin Brown making the pass over Terry Phillips, they being able to hang on to second TP. The Kansas City Chiefs fan in the 75 off of turn two has a nose out in front. Then through three and four, stays low on the track and is able to keep the advantage over Dustin Brown. There is a pass for position. The slide moves him up to the outside wall, and TP has moved up to second. Now, you've had the opportunity to be here at Lucas Oil Speedway a handful of times over the years, and it's not necessarily just in modified. I know earlier on this year you were here for the spring nationals. This was just a, a crazy kind of spring whenever, especially on the late model side with the World of Outlaws, the Lucas Oil late models, there was almost about a two month time frame where rain played havoc. You got washed out just about every single week as the Boone's Barbecue Caution comes out for a spin over in turn number four up in the wall. It is the 16 that brings the yellow out for the first time as Randy Brown out of Chowchilla, California Brings out the caution, woeing the field after seven completed laps. Kind of a, a crazy spring for you guys. You got to come out and uh, finally turn some laps and um, didn't have a bad showing through the uh, spring nationals, but you've been here with the USMTS before. Your thoughts on Lucas Oil Speedway and how it fits your driving style? Uh, I mean, the, the facility is fantastic. The racetrack, uh, it's uh, it's really slippery compared to what we got at home. The dirt doesn't have much grip in it at all, which... Um, I mean, that usually means it's good dirt. It doesn't wear out tires, and it, you usually can race on it for a long time before it needs work. Uh, but it's definitely something we don't see at home, this red clay, really. Um, so it's different. Uh, I guess last night was probably the best I've ever felt here. Usually I come down here and I feel loose just because the dirt's so slippery compared to at home. But, uh, you know, I feel, I don't know, last night I felt really good. So um, we'll see, see what we got tomorrow. But... Uh, I like this place. It's it's fun. It's a you know it's 
it really is one of the diamond they call it the diamond dirt tracks for a reason yeah. it's the facility is amazing uh it's pretty cool that that lucas oil um put this here for us you know we're fortunate to have it um speaking of i'm looking at terry phillips Speaking of the Chiefs, I'm going to the Chiefs Vikings game on Sunday. So. Oh yeah, you are a Minnesota guy, so I'm a Minnesota guy. I, I guess you're not going to be wearing any red and gold whenever you're at the game. I will not, but uh, you know, the Chiefs versus the Vikings. Uh, I don't know. Can't imagine the, the Vikings are going to pull one off against Patrick Mahomes, but I'll be rooting for the Vikings, of course. Well, I won't. Just so you know. Are you a Chiefs um, fan? I'm a Chiefs fan. Yeah, whenever you're down in this area, you got to be a Chiefs fan. There are some that aren't, but we we still adopt them anyway. But I wish I could be a Chiefs fan. You got Patrick Mahomes for how long? You guys are set. Yeah, we're gonna ha- <laughs> we're gonna keep him for a while. We uh we emptied the pocketbook to make sure he didn't go anywhere. So you want to trade for Kirk Cousins? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually a Kirk Cousins fan. The Net- Netflix series quarterbacks. I've had an uh, opportunity to learn a little bit more about Kirk Cousins, and I absolutely have mad respect for the guy. Oh, he's he's awesome. Yeah, he seems like an awesome guy. I don't I don't know. He's still a great quarterback. He's putting up stats. I think he's a leading passer. Yeah. And, uh, and passing touchdowns this year. Back under green, six, seven laps down, 13 to go here in A feature number one. And on the restart, not going to last for long as a couple of cars get involved. Three cars, it looks like, is one already making the exit to the top side. Blake Arndt is off the track. Another couple of cars, I think David Tanner involved in that as well. We see the number 12 parked on the front stretch. So not a great start or a great restart, to say the least. Here for the Modifieds, as they didn't even get another lap in. Seven down, 13 still remain. Picked up a win earlier this year, back in March, to start your season out. Uh, Then went through, and I don't want to say a dry spell, but uh, just from a production perspective, didn't really uh, get the wins rolling again until later in the summer. Picked up 10 total wins so far on the year between the late model and the Modified. Was that gap there between... Uh, March and June, just a, a dry spell you went through. Were you trying to make some changes? What was the the story with how your season has gone so far? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's just that's just racing. It seems to go in waves. It goes out. You have your ups and you have your downs. And for whatever reason, it seems like it's never. Uh, um, you know, you never have like a medium. It's always like really bad for a while or really good for a while. Um, so yeah, we. We went to Texas and, uh, you know, started off really good. And then we, yeah, you're right, we hit a dry spell. We didn't win for a little while there. And uh, um, fortunately, we picked back up since then. And I don't know, you just kind of wait for the wave to crash, I guess. <laughs> you just ride, ride it as long as you can. Well, Terry Phillips is riding the high wave on the high side of the track and ate up some ground on Carlos Amata after he had built up a 2.8 second advantage. The caution groups everybody back up and Terry Phillips has something going on the top side he has found some grip your short time that you've been here especially on uh, the race last night where do you see this track really at least right now anyway starting to form up is the bottom of the place to be the top side looks like both lines working well for these two guys in Amato Jr. and Terry Phillips yeah you know looking at this racetrack right now I, I mean I would hope this is about exactly what we get tomorrow night for the feature uh Looks like you got a top, of course, and a bottom. And I mean, Terry's ripping the lip, and Carlos is down low, and they're about running the same speed um, throughout the field. Looks like you got some guys running through the middle yet. Um, looks like a really good racetrack. Looks like uh, like you could run about anywhere right now. But we're about to have a good race here. I think TP is about to catch up to. Are you the type of driver that would rather have a thick, heavy track and go hammer down the entire time, or you oh, like absolutely. it slicked off? Absolutely, I love to mash the gas, but um, I guess slick tracks are easier on equipment for sure, but I definitely like to to mash the gas first, first tiptoeing around and trying not to spin the tires, but, um, you know, both tracks produce good racing at, racing at times, so um, it's a horse apiece, I guess, but if I had my pick, I'd, I'd, take, a, I'd take a track with a nice big cushion and, and some black in the middle and some traction down low, pretty similar to what we got right now, to be honest with you. Well, Terry Phillips likes what he sees as well. Big chunk taken out of the lead from Carlos Amata Jr. That time around, it's down to a .2 second advantage, and these two drivers in the top two are really separating themselves from Cole Anderson by 3.7 seconds 
and they are running nearly identical lap times. 18.5s for Carlos Amata, Terry Phillips in 18.6. Both cars just a touch slower. That last circuit around now with six laps to go. Cole Anderson in third. Dustin Brown has dropped back to fourth, and Nick Benninger rides along in fifth. Again, the top three will all transfer and lock themselves in, so Cole Anderson is in the transfer spot as of right now. Terry Phillips, top shelf, off of turn two. Pulls alongside Carlos Amata Jr., and business is about to pick up for TP. Continues to grip the lip up on the top side. This time by, it's still Amata Jr., but by only .02 seconds at the line. That's with four laps to go. I will ask you another question here in a minute, I promise, but I don't want to miss a thing on the track as now lap traffic starting to peak into the picture. Three laps to go. They've got one lap car they'll have to try to navigate. The good thing is he's running almost in the middle of the track in the way TP and Amata Jr. have been running. They can go either high or low, and this time TP decides to duck down to the inside, makes the pass. Both cars, for the most part, don't lose any ground on one another as they get around the lap traffic and now shouldn't have hardly anybody between themselves and the checkered flag as they will see the white flag next time around. And TP able to pull off the pass in three and four. We have a new leader on top of the pylon at the line. It'll be Terry Phillips by a nose, .03 seconds over Carlos Amata Jr. There is one lapped car in the way. Carlos Amata Jr. to the inside. He'll grab the lead back. Can Terry Phillips do anything on the top side? Lapped car sandwiched in the middle. Amata Jr. to the low side. He will make the pass on the last lap. Terry Phillips leads for one lap, but Carlos Amata Jr. leads 19 of the 20, and the most important one is he wins by .322 seconds over Terry Phillips. Cole Anderson third, Nick Benninger fourth, and Tyler Worley rounds out your top five. Terry Phillips had a good, strong power move with one to go, but 